working out in the world, in the whole world. If you look into it, in Israel, even in Israel, this is what shocked me. Gang stalking is actually global. It's not just in America, it's global. Now, before America fixes the world, we have to fix America. Because America really is so thin, and that's what they want, is to destroy America. The Illuminati. So they can have the one world order, which is prophesied in the Bible. Any law or any uh, um, <clears throat> what's the word any law or any you know uh, policy is invalid if it's in contradiction of the Declaration of Independence the Constitution and there's many policies and there's many laws that are in contradiction. This is not the old America. I'm not talking about horses and wagons. And that's how they throw us off too. Is when you say it's not the old America, people think, okay, well, of course, we have came a long way. You know, we got video games, we got movies, DVDs, and, you know, more. But we're talking about the freedom of, of mankind. We fleed to America, our forefathers fleed to America because of the same crimes that are going on here in America today by the government. The government's committing the same crimes that we actually fleed from to create America. And now they have America, they're taking it over. And what you would do is, you got to remember this, there's way more of us than them, but they will continue to keep winning if we don't realize this much. There's more of them than us when it comes to knowing about conspiracies, about the crimes this government's committing. So in that aspect, that is why we are losing. And when you hear Alex Jones and other people say we're winning, we're not winning. We're not winning shit. We're losing. You would have to... The only way you're going to turn this around... I mean, there could be other ways. God is a miracle. Miracles, but... You could work miracles, but... Realistically, if we're going to do it ourselves, the only way to turn this around is to reach... America. We have to reach America and let them know what these criminals are doing. If not, they're going to continue to win. Most likely. They have the upper hand because, again, they have all the money. There's more of them than us. Now they're violating us by, by spying on us, which is also illegal. We have to warn Americans, flyers, whatever, door-to-door, -door or whatever. If not, then they will continue to win until it's too late for anyone to change anything, to do anything about it. You get the Constitution, compare it to the IRS, compare it to the police station, compare it to all government. Put, put them side by side and look them over and then say, hmm... Is this, if it says I have the right to travel, the Constitution, without being harassed, and then over here, the police are setting up checkpoints for DUIs, that's really not freedom to travel because I'm being harassed. I'm late to work. I just lost my job because of you. If we start warning America, it, it sounds like the simplest way. You don't have to be violent, you don't have to do anything illegal. It's sometimes the simplest way is actually the answer. It doesn't have to be all complicated. It sounds like there's just no way to stop them. Because 
We watch these videos, especially at Pizzagate. We see these perverts get away with horrible crimes against children. And we get discouraged because no one's going to jail. And it's probably meant to hurt us that way. It's probably meant to make us feel defeated so we give up. They're probably doing all these psyops on us that we're not even aware of. <clears throat> Just consider that everything's probably a psyop. It's not of a psyop. And that's why you got to separate yourself. Just take a look at the simplest. It's the simplest evidence in front of you. Constitution. Do the laws match up? No, they don't. Then we got to prosecute the prosecutors who aren't prosecuting the crooks. We, 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 we stop focusing on the crooks. Here's how it works. And I got taught this by my stepdad. If I'm if this guy here is my problem and I'm battling this guy, because he, he hurt me, so I'm just gonna defend myself. I don't start it, I just you know, I just fight back. So this guy's hurting me, so my focus is on him, right? And I learned this from my stepdad who was in and out of prison for kicking ass. So this guy's bothering me, right? And now this guy jumps in to help him, right? Now my focus isn't on this guy here. It's on this guy. See? I don't know if that made any sense, but we want to get A for the crimes, but B is supposed to be prosecuting A, but B's not. So we don't worry about A anymore. Now we go after B because he didn't do his job and prosecute. There's all these, uh, you can tell they're, they're completely in cahoots. There's just no way there's that. I mean, you know how the government, they arrest you for jaywalking. Anything you do, you can't, you're not allowed to talk, to move, to do anything. Keep moving because you're loitering. I mean, every, everything they have is, is, a, is a, basically now against the Constitution. There's, there's, there's just a mountain of evidence. So, to fix this government, they have to come, come down. Everybody in the government, good or bad, because we don't know who's who. They've all been compromised now. The crimes are out of control. The crimes are disgusting. They're crimes against humanity, child trafficking. So you have to set up a system to take them down. A system that cannot be stopped by one person. <clears throat> a system that if they kill anyone, these criminals... If they kill anyone opposing them, it doesn't matter because there's just the system set up to take them down no matter who they kill. They have it set up right now where anyone speaks out against them, they end up getting killed or set up for fake crimes. That's, that's because there's no real organization like Black Lives Matter, all these organizations that are not real organizations that are trying to take down the criminal government. The criminal government that has hijacked this country. Now, it's going on worldwide. But again, we can't fix that until we fix this here. Now, so the countries, the laws probably permit a lot of that stuff. Gang stalking, crimes against humanity. Other countries have been known for that. America is fairly new. What, 300 years old? And to have gang stalking in America and so on and so on. It shouldn't be able to actually exist here. It doesn't make sense how they're able to get away with it until you realize that it's the government who's doing the crimes. That's why the criminals are getting away because it is the government. When you're being gang stalked, it's the police. When there's child trafficking, it's the police. When there's drug smuggling, it's the police. Violation of human rights, police. And I mean all branches. FBI, CIA. The shadow government would have to be completely taken out, dismantled, destroyed, and in many cases executed. Because the, the law is pretty clear. When you do treason against America and you cause the problems that have already transpired, those are already death penalties. 
Those are death penalty crimes. We don't have to worry about tomorrow's crime. Keep watching Alex Jones for years and go into a spin. You just take the stuff Alex Jones has, whether he's a show or not, there's real evidence there to work with. You take the evidence already presented. Don't worry about tomorrow, and you run with what you got. There's already enough evidence to already start prosecutions. They're going to get it. Even if we don't get to them, God will eventually one day get to them. And when they pay, it's going to be bigger. Because look at Hitler is going to pay for 6 million deaths of Jews. Minimal. He has to fill everything that each person felt seven times. Seven times six million. That's what the Bible says. Sevenfold. These people are helping the Antichrist system, which is going to be responsible for billions of deaths when this is all over. So when they answer to God, each person that played a part is going to have a bigger penalty than Hitler because they represent that beast system all by themselves one on one. If they get some small, simple gang stalker, he has to still pay the price for every person that the Antichrist killed for supporting the system, for being uh, like a support beam. He thinks, oh, I'm, but I'm only doing this little part. It doesn't matter. You supported the, it's, it's, it's one giant beast system that you supported. You weren't just doing that little tiny part that you think you're doing. You're helping support the entire beast. And you got to pay the price for everything that comes out of it. Everything from 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 day one, from before you got there to long after you were gone, because at some point you supported it. It's like feeding a runaway dog one meal that went around, you know, with uh, rabies and just infecting like 30 people. You only gave that dog one meal, but 30 people because of that one dog. It's the system. So no matter who you are, whether you're a reptilian hybrid or you're a human sellout, you're, you're going to answer to God. There's no maybe about it. It's a fact. And even if the American people wake up and then a lot of you guys go down for it, you're still going to answer to God. Now, it's not going to minimal. The, the sentence isn't going to be minimum because you got punishment here. God's not going to go, oh, well, they, well, they, they hung you there. They killed you there, so I'm going to be more lenient. Oh, you still got to pay every penny. Every penny, that's a separate, that's a whole separate judgment. So we, we can possibly, if we get our our brains together and organize right, we can get these criminals and bring justice to them, for the victims. 